是有点自以为是 ，narcissistic， 不需要去管人家怎么想。不怕 make big changes to change their life。I want to live a life worth living。这个 strawberry generation。I don't agree with it。And we are bold. We want to make a statement. Maybe we're troublemakers. Millennial generation. 我们这一代。就一群想要创业的学生，觉得目前的社交平台就很虚伪。<笑>你就看到很多比基尼模特儿还是运动员，可是没有真正你认识在周围的人和他们的故事。假如我们可以做一个平台，让你更接近你周围的人，会更有意义。我今年二十九岁，叫梁腾达。爸妈帮我取名的时候，就可能是想要我飞黄腾达。我自己的创业公司叫做 Scratch Bank， 就是英语有一句话说 ：“I scratch your bank, you scratch mine。”是互相帮助的意思。二零二一年疫情期间创立的 Scratch Bank， 是一款强调和邻里联系的应用程序。在上面输入自己的邮政编号，就可以看到两公里内的使用者发出的讯息，进而和对方在线上或线下交流。我们有很大的家族，三四百个人，全部人都住在差不多一样的地方，五级帮让呃 West Side。宝宝，宝宝，宝宝。腾达的父亲有九个兄弟姐妹，他们的孩子也都住在这一带，这里就好像是他们家族的肝膀。我记得有一次我跟我公公去吃饭，走过路上就很多人跟他打招呼，好像全部都认识呃彼此这样。我们的大家庭常常会去婆婆家吃饭，每个礼拜天、礼拜六都会去。然后我发现我朋友不是这样，可能他们就一年只去。见你一次面，可能新年的时候就去，然后觉得哎，是很奇怪，为什么为什么其他人不是跟我一样？我觉得小时候还好，长大就发现有时候你明明看到电梯门是开着，你要走过去，然后邻居就不会按门给你啊，就按关。可能他们不是不友善，是不熟，就很尴尬，不知道讲什么。可是我还是想要去做这东西啊 ，narcissistic。就觉得自己是哇天选之人，<笑>我就是会可以解决这个问题的人。对。I want you to know the outcome. And cut. 我在拍《Sunny Side Up》的时候，我有放一个小箱子在那边。我的 fellow actors、camera crew 都很乐意把他们的那个瓶子盖放进里面，然后我每个月都是收集。我叫李文波，我叫 Paul， 今年三十岁，然后我是在泰国曼谷长大的，住了十八年。除了艺人工作之外呢 ，I call myself a modern day g a r a n k u n i 演艺新秀李文波。近期因参演五频道长寿剧《阳光总在风雨后》，逐渐为观众所认识。其实我从小就很注重环保，我读了就是环境工程之后呢，从南洋理工大学毕业就直接当了一个太阳板的工程师，我做了三年。那时候因为疫情的关系，我个人因为老家人。六个月都在房间里面，然后在那个时候就想很多。Like what's my life's purpose? What's the meaning of life? Am I happy? 啊，所以我就决定离开我工作
，就是进入这演艺圈。我从小是在泰国长大的，然后每个圣诞节都会回来新加坡，都会看到新加坡还有泰国。对于就是污染的这个差别，泰国就是有很多空气污染，因为车很多，脏的那个水沟啊什么。新加坡的政府做的蛮好的 ，We are a fine city， 我们有很多的 laws regulations。但我觉得我们新加坡个人呢，就是没有环保的概念。新加坡塑料的回收率是百分之六，也是超低的 ，OK， 超低的。我觉得 there's a lot of improvement to be done。我觉得在泰国呢，垃圾也算是一个 business， 所以其实有很多人就是想去捡。我们新加坡觉得哇很肮脏，所以很多人都在。做比较阿达式的工作，你知道，我是可以告诉你，我不怕把我的手脏掉。我花了五分钟就收集了那么多的塑料，那你们看，真的是。这一代年轻人的独特之处在于，他们在官病期间，全球充满不确定性的环境下成长。例如，面对问题的处理能力，在呃疫情期间，这个指标下降到五十五八千，但去年这个指标反弹至六十一八千。他们当中许多人表现了出坚韧性。并把危机化解成机会。Hi everybody, today I'm at Tampines and I'm meeting a scratchback user called Elijah, and he's a home barista that wants to share his coffee with neighbors. Let's go check him out. Hello. Hello. Thanks for inviting me. Excited to try your coffee. 二十九岁的梁腾达读研究所时，创立了起步公司，透过社交应用程序来拉近邻里关系。那个时候是那个 circuit breaker 嘛，然后很多人在家里做 DIY， 需要借东西，也是有互相交流。So I'll normally post like I'm giving out coffee this weekend. Yeah. Then how do you connect with them? Like after you post, right? What happens? So, uh, they will comment. 我觉得这东西是人家互相交流的第一个触点。可是他们真正开心的原因，不是因为他们接得到东西，是之后他们从而呃获取了这个新的朋友。我觉得做生意最重要的一个东西就是要有用户了。要去找陌生的人，然后怎样去找陌生人去用你的东西？我我们尝试过很多东西啊，发传单啊，在路上拦人啊，呃，用社交媒体发给不同的社群。现在年轻人有一点这个自我了解，自我感觉良好，然后就觉得他们不要不需要去管人家怎么想。我们的初心就是要把生命活得最有意义啦。为了追求人生目标，演艺新秀李文波在二十八岁那年，和朋友李耀军共同创办了再生塑料工作坊 Plastify。现在 Plastify 一共有大概四十个义工，有些是 retiree， 有些是学生，有些还在工作。那我们就是专门回收，啊、呃，我们每个星期都会拿到可能。大概八十到一百公斤的塑料，再利用，把那个塑料处理成比较有功能性、很漂亮的物品。这一百公斤的塑料，我们会先分类，分类之后呢，我们会清洗，然后切碎，然后我们会融化进一个模子，做成产品。文坡的塑料工作坊创立了两年，每年可处理五千公斤的塑料。所做的虽然得到认可
，但还是有人质疑，改变并不大。好像有一两个人有这样说过，说过我们在 greenwashing， 我都会问他，你要跟我们合作的目的是什么？ I want to have a long lasting change with the company. I I don't want to touch and go. 我们也就是很注重教育，所以我们经常都会去学校啊、社区，还有不同的公司，去教关于回收的知识。And make them into good. So today in this hour and a half session, you guys will be making as many products as you can, and you guys can be bringing it back. Waste is not waste until you really waste it. Classify 的愿望的目标呢，就是成为回收塑料还有教育的一个基地。Oh, nice. I think our generation is important, but it's not the most important thing. Ideals or values, we will be more important. 我的名字是王贤，我现在三十岁。我创造我自己的难民 social enterprise， 所以我开 m a c r o s t e r 咖啡店。二零一九年的时候，他们都是。他讲那个 Rohingya 的 issue， 所以我每天都读读这些难民的问题，家人被杀掉，还是他们被夺走过海，还是跑到森林，可是最后他们就发现，哎，其实，在第三的国家也没有那种安全感，因为没有食物吃，没有地方住。大公司，他们已经有了很多律师帮他们，不开心就是搞人。嗯、um, ，可是我觉得那名连一个律师也没有人帮他们去站。啊，二零一九年我决定去泰国，啊、uh, ，做那名律师，我要帮他写一封信到 U N H C R 申请这个那名身份。二零二零年，由于疫情和计划完成终身大事，婉贤决定回国，以另一种方式帮助难民。Okay, here's your latte. 这个公鸡是一个难民采的，这个是那个难民的故事了。嗯嗯。Matt was 的主要的是帮这些难民的生机。每一杯咖啡有我们的 logo， 我们的 logo 是一个小鸡啦，那个小鸡是一个难民。然后背后是那个难民的故事。每个月我们会叫他帮我们做三百个 sticker， 每个 sticker 是大概十把啊，每个月就可以给他们这个升级三三千把，才可以住一个房间。开始的时候我们是有三个难民在我们的这个 program， 现在已经有十四个难民。Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Come again. Bye. I think sacrifice 可能是时间吧。如果我说 OK， 我今天不要做，我回去做呃我的律师的工作比较容易。十四个人的命会不一样啊，真的不一样。他们全家人突然没有吃的，没有住的。My name is Bahana Farid. I am 31 this year. I am a powerlifting athlete and coach. I compete in the under 52 weight category. And I have attained a 203 kilos world record in deadlifts.
。Farhana 在成为职业健力运动员之前，有五年时间，他是一名药剂师。So it happened back in like 2017, 2018, and I was just shadowing my boyfriend then, who's now my husband. And I happened to deadlift a number that was apparently above the national record, and I was not properly formally trained. And it was very nerve-wracking because it's completely out of my comfort zone, but it was also very exciting. So we figured, you know, this is something worth pursuing. Pressure. We started a double-edged sword. You know, like it was very stressful, but at the same time, that pressure was good because it was sort of motivating me to kind of achieve. It's natural to get nervous. It's always the first attempt, first squat where you're, you're kind of shaking, you're jittery. Competition, like I have failed. Say for example, I have failed my last bench weights that I have done during training, and it can be embarrassing. 只有赢得更多比赛 ，Farhana 才能更好的推广健力，让更多人关注这项冷门运动。除了面对精神上的压力，他也得应付旁人对他的异样眼光。When you start looking back at photos, or you meet relatives that you haven't seen in so long, you're like, "Oh my God, you're so muscular now." You know, because my frame is really petite, so to put on like five kilos of mass suddenly will feel very unnerving. Suddenly, you're not fitting into certain clothes, not fitting into certain jeans. It, it'll be a bit rattling. They'll be like, "Oh my God, your arms are like a man. Your hands are so rough, like a man." You know, and because you keep hearing it, and you're like, "Oh my God, are they right?" But then. Like I said, like it didn't matter what they thought because I knew I felt good. I felt strong in my own skin. Thirty-five-year-old lawyer Chen Wanxian gave up his legal job to start a cafe to help poor immigrants. And his former father Chen Lejie often traveled to three main cities. When he started, of course. 爸爸不开心，因为他觉得，呃，是很浪费了。老人家他们会觉得，哎，做 doctor 做 lawyer 是比较好，对吗？可是现在来看我的店的时候啊，大多数你会看到我的爸爸在那边，他已经变成我们 number one supporter。I think it's good that we, as this generation, we have worked hard. We provided a stepping stone for them to go higher. For them, they look for fulfillment, happiness in life, do something meaningful. I, I think that's good. That's where we, as society, progress. 在我们对三千名新加坡年轻人进行为期六年的研究中，他们主要的愿望啊是。呃，身体健康、快乐、拥有经济保障，以及呃充分的享受生活。对于千禧一代，他们的父母往往更加自给自足，这就是为什么平均而言，当今的年轻人有更多的自由来选择自己的愿望。为了筹措训练和出国比赛的经费，法尔哈纳同时也担任其他选手的教练。She will always reassure me, because I have no trust in myself. So she always tell me, like, trust yourself, you can do this. Like, don't think so much, just go and perform. 当年发掘 Farhana 天赋，目前担任健身教练，也是健力运动员的先生 James。两人在赛场和生活上一路相互扶持，鼓励彼此勇敢追梦。There's a very popular saying that if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. If your partner is very different from you, you won't be able to understand the amount of time, the effort that it takes to make it in this industry. Um, so yes, very lucky. I 
I do think we have that spirit of yolo ness where we just want to, you know what, you only live once, let's live life to the fullest. We're sort of a generation where old enough to know but too young to care, almost. We're aware of the repercussions, but at the same time, we kind of want to push that needle, we want to challenge it. put Singapore on the map, you know, on the Southeast Asia region, in the Asian region as well. But eventually, I do want to achieve like world champion status. And I was curious to see how far I could push this as well. Up next, we have Jerry, the founder of Scratch Bag. Let's give him a round. Scratch Bag 尚未实现盈利。为了追求创业成功的梦想，腾达把握每个寻找资金的机会，尽力表现自己。我会尽我的全力去想办法，把这个产品做得最好。只要我付出每一块石头，我去翻开来看有没有螃蟹在下面，这样就很有机会会成功了。我读了四年的大学。在高中读了泰国最贵的学校，然后最后当了一个港姑娘。我之前经常会跟我朋友比较，如果我就是画一个一个 graph 的话，我朋友的那个财富我不上升。If I plot my graph, yeah, it's gonna be like this, you know. Um, 很多的曲折。我本身是个很冒险、很有挑战性的人。I want to live a life worth living. 最近，婉贤也生下了第一个孩子，看着嗷嗷待哺的新生儿，更对难民的处境感同身受。我看我的 baby 的时候，我会有那个感觉，哦，你需要什么，我都会帮你买，我我都会给你。我可以想，难民当然也有这种的感觉。如果他我的 baby 要一样的去帮难民，我会很开心。我希望他看我爸的努力，看我自己的努力，跟他也会学这种 value 上